How long does a hard drive last? Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for AskLeo.com. Ask Leo is brought to you in part for free by the support of my patrons. AskLeo.com slash patron has more information about how you can help and patron exclusive content available when you sign up. Let's get right to this question. You had an article about the life of an SSD drives. Now, I have a 15 year old PC with an ordinary hard drive and it's still working fine. How long do drives like that usually last? This is old timer stuff. So yeah, I did talk about the lifespan of SSDs in a recent article, and it was very interesting. There actually are tools that will tell you what the uh, usage is of your SSD, and that can sometimes directly relate to what to expect, what kind of a lifespan to expect out of things. So I want to talk a little bit about hard drives because the answer is quite, quite different. As a result, some of the assumptions you might make will end up being different. Now, I do need to start out by saying that anything can die at any time. Literally any drive can fail for any number of different reasons without warning, regardless of how long it's been in use. That's something that you need to always be prepared for. And of course, the way you're prepared for that is by having an up-to-date backup, having a backup strategy. That means that if you lose everything on your hard drive, you could replace it and recover and get on without too much data loss, if any at all. So that's important. I don't want any of this discussion of expected lifespan to uh, dissuade you from the need for backing up and backing up regularly. If anything, if this is one of those what kind of things can you expect discussions? What kind of investment is your hard drive? Uh, you know, how do you spend money wisely and so forth? Now, it's interesting. Hard drive life expectancy, in my experience, is generally years and years and years and years. There's a cutoff, what I call infant mortality, right? You put a drive into use and if it dies in the first few months or the first year, we sometimes refer to that as infant mortality. Once you get past those first few months of use, drives seem to just keep on going, at least the ones that I've used. I have lots of them. What generally ends up happening is not that the drive dies. Again, don't get me wrong, it could. I never want you to think that that couldn't happen. But in general, my experience is that the machine containing the drive actually exceeds its usable lifespan and then gets decommissioned along with the drive it contains. In other words, the drive doesn't die throughout the useful life of the machine containing it. That's kind of cool, right? I mean, that's kind of a, a pretty reasonable expectation. The other thing that happens, of course, is that our expectations or our requirements end up growing over time. And that drive that was really, really big when we got it just doesn't feel that big anymore. So we end up replacing it. Again, it's a working drive, but we end up replacing it not because it failed, but because some characteristic of that drive, usually its size or its speed, no longer measure up to what it is we're trying to do. So again, my view on hard drives is that the pragmatic life expectancy of a drive is pretty much as long as you've got the machine. Again, once you get past what I've called infant mortality, it's going to last for a really long time. And it's not something I end up worrying about at all. Again, with the exception of it could die at any time, <laughs> right? I know that sounds like a contradiction in terms, but the problem is, of course, the cost of failure, right? When that very, very random failure happens, if you assume that your drive will never dry and you don't back things up, then, of course, a failure is going to be very, very costly. You want to be backing up for any number of different reasons. Now, as I've said in a prior article, SSDs are different. They have information on them. First of all, SSDs wear out the more you write to them. They have information that can be taken from the drive that will tell you how much they've been written to, and the manufacturer will throw out a guarantee of this. It could be written to this much. Again, a guarantee doesn't get your data back. A guarantee doesn't mean that the drive won't fail. All a guarantee means is that you'll get your money back. You won't get your data back. 
That's why even for SSDs, you want to be backing up your information. But a hard drive, a magnetic hard drive, doesn't wear out in the same way. And it certainly doesn't wear out, I'll say, as quickly. Even though SSDs are lasting a really, really long time now, hard drives don't wear out the same way and it's not caused by how they're used. If anything, a hard drive is going to wear out because it's got some moving parts. An SSD doesn't. And it's the moving parts that over time, generally over a very long time, yeah, they're going to wear a little bit. But as I've said, usually, generally, that's not something that a casual user, an average user, a home user needs to worry about. Your drive will probably, probably outlast your machine. But keep backing it up anyway, please. For related links, for updates, for comments and more, visit askleo.com slash 136782. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.